Welcome to moreforlife.com. I'm Michael Moore. In this video, we're working with Juanita. Juanita is a busy professional woman in her 60s. So we're going to create a look for her that's perfect for a long, busy work day. In part one of Juanita's application, we're going to start with an oil blotter and move on to concealer, foundation, and setting powder. So let's get started. Juanita has a very busy lifestyle. She is a, a professional woman. She's on a lot of boards. She's got a very social life. So one thing about Juanita, she's a Latin woman who doesn't like that really no makeup makeup look. She likes to have a little bit of fun with her makeup. Um, but there's a couple of things that we want to start off with is we want to start off with, she tends to have a little bit of an oilier skin, right Juanita? Okay. So with her busy lifestyle, she probably gets up really early in the morning for early meetings and then she has to go all day long so she wants to make sure that everything stays put all day. So we're gonna start off with an oil blotter. And this is instead of using a primer, or you can actually call it a primer, but it's going to also just really prevent the skin from producing more oil and losing the makeup as the day goes on. So we're going to take this, we're gonna take it right down through her T-zone of her face. And this is going to give her a mattified look and really hold that makeup looking good all day long. The oilier areas of the face tend to be the forehead, the nose, the cheek, and the chin. In. You tend to get a shine right through there, don't you? I do. So of course, on Winita, if she has oily skin, we're gonna go with an oil-free foundation and a setting powder on the face as well. Great things about having oily skin is you tend to look very young for your age. Winita is 63 years old. I mean, outrageously young looking for your age. And you get that all the time, don't you? So we're gonna to go to a concealer. We're gonna take the concealer, basically the same shade as the face, one shade brighter. And with her having such golden skin, you wanna make sure that you really celebrate that gold. Do not go to pink tone foundation. Always embrace your skin tone. So we're gonna be using a synthetic brush for this. We're gonna take this concealer, we're gonna fill the whole ocular cavity, taking it right up underneath the eyelash line taking away any sort of discoloration. And what I've decided to use on Juanita is a polymer-based concealer. The polymers will actually really help prevent it from going into the fine lines and wrinkles. So as the day goes on, I always like to think of it almost like elastic to underwear, how it goes back and forth and moves with your body, filling that whole ocular cavity again. And remember the inside quarter of the eye or corner of the eye is usually the darkest point of a circle. So now we've chosen a liquid foundation that is oil-free for her. And you can see in my pink hand how warm it is and it's gonna really blend into her skin tone beautifully. So you're gonna start right into the nasal labial fold, into where all the pinkness is, into the face, and into the nose area. With Juanita, we do not want her to have a really heavy looking foundation on. Once again, I always say this, is embrace the face that you already have. You, she's got gorgeous skin. She's been given this wonderful Latin heritage that will give her the anti-age aspect for the rest of her life. And so just really embrace beautiful, beautiful skin. She's taking good care of her skin her whole life. Yes, she's had some issues with her skin with adult acne, but it's all taken care of now, right? Correct. And something else that we were looking at here is when you think about Juanita's face, she probably uses a lot of skincare items that might turn over her cells, like maybe something that has a glycolic, a retinol, a salicylic in it. So what happens if you notice her skin tone was actually a little bit different on the face than it was through the body. So I really embraced this and brought more warmth from the body up into the face giving her all even tone. So when she is wearing something more low cut like she has on right now, that it's not going to be a head and a body. It's all one person now. I'm gonna be using a setting powder that is a flesh tone correct. As you can see, it's a touch lighter than what her face is. This is gonna give her a brightness. So we're gonna take this with a kabuki brush. We're gonna go right down the middle of the face into the cheek area. This is going to ensure that her makeup will last all day long. If you have larger pores, which sometimes oilier skin people will have, just this is also gonna be great to if you um, press this into those heavier poured areas to give a more flawless look to the skin. That's it for part one of Juanita. To see your transformation continue, check out Juanita part two right here on moreforlife.com. Thanks for watching.